Time now for final exam where two contestants chosen from our vast stable of news experts are pitted against one another to determine which of them has been paying more attention at work. This week is final exam ultimate deathmatch edition. Contestants Shannon Bream, host of Fox News at Night, Very correspondent Peter Ducey. <laughs> Both are undefeated in this game, if you can even call it a game. All right, you're familiar Seriously. with the rules, but for our, for our viewers, yes. a recap. Hands on the buzzers. I'm going to ask the question. The first one to buzz in gets to answer the question. You must wait until I finish asking the question in order to buzz in. Each correct answer is worth one point. Get it wrong and you lose a point. Best of five wins. Now, I will say, because this is the deathmatch edition, if there is a tie, which is statistically possible, mm -hmm. I'm going to come up with a question off the top of my head out of nowhere, extemporaneously, and throw it at you. Not vetted right? by an independent Not vetted by any authorities or, or our accountants or legal team. All right, let's hope it doesn't get to that. Question one. Yeah. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was under scrutiny over Thanksgiving vacation. She shared a photograph on social media of a dish she had made at home, but at least one reporter said it looked too good to be real and accused her of faking that dish. What food did she make? Shannon Bree. Pecan pie. Pecan pie, also known as pecan pie. To the tape we go. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders under fire this weekend after she posted this, posted a picture of this pie. She said she baked it. Let me tell you something. She's been making this pie for years, years. Don't ever exactly. mess with a Southern woman <laughs> and her homemade pies. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Shannon Bream. Okay, so watching the two champions next to each other, I'm starting to understand the key to this game. You are lightning fast. Cat like reflexes. You have cat like reflexes. Yeah, yeah. Very impressive. Also, we used to be roommates, so I know all of his secrets. I, mates, I'm yeah. using, I'm, you know, oh, I say roommates. Th thank you for the clarification. <laughs> um, before we get in deeper into that, uh, question two Holiday flyers are furious at American Airlines, I think this country's biggest carrier. The company announced a mistake that could leave millions stranded without flights this Christmas vacation. What went wrong? Shannon Bream once again. They did not assign pilots to the flights. Why, that's too silly. I can't I, believe I'm that's crazy, true. I know. We're going to check our tape, our tape archive to find out. Let's do it. The software glitch was in the system handling scheduling for American Airlines 15,000 pilots, allowing too many to take vacation during the very busy Christmas travel season. More than 15,000 flights between December 17th and the 31st are at risk of being canceled. Look at that. You're like an MLB pitcher. Listen, You're like Bruce Lee. You're so fast I, I didn't even see that happen. Can I tell you that I actually, my family, we are flying on American during those dates. So when that story came out, I, did, I was, uh, you know, laser You probably locked. just I got an upgrade. Um, luckily, my brother's a pilot. Not for American, but I'm going to see if he can fly our plane anyway. <laughs> well, I thought they need pilots. You got the inside deal. Very nice. Question three. There was some royal news out of England this week. Prince Harry is now engaged to an American actress called Meghan Markle. Prince Harry asked for her hand during a typical night at the Royal Cottage, if there is such a thing. What were they doing when he asked her to marry him? Again, Shannon Bream. <laughs> they were eating roast chicken. Eating roast? That doesn't sound very royal. I, I don't know if that's right. I want clarification on this. <laughs> I think they were just making roast chicken, and I also think oh, my buzzer oh, oh. is broken. Well, okay. that's what they all say. That's what they are Blaming broken. the equipment. She's got tar <laughs> on her bat. Is that what you're saying? All right, to the tape. Were they eating or making roast chicken? Uh oh. It happened uh, a few weeks ago. It's a standard, typical it's night a for us. It's a cozy night. I was, what were we doing? Just roasting chicken roasting and having. Roasting chicken. <laughs> trying to roast chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. Really? It was so sweet and, and natural and oh. very romantic. Okay, so, so our, our judges back in New York have weighed in and said no point ordered. What, Evs? All right. You say eating. They said roasting, the verb all important in this case. Okay. I, look, I'm, I'm just I'm channeling the judges in my ear. I'm going to let it go the, this The time. council has spoken. <laughs> this time. All right, so <laughs> it remains to your question four. Big box stores across the United States are looking to cash in on a strange new holiday trend involving Christmas trees. There's something strange about these trees. What is it? Peter Ducey. It works. They're upside down. That's too crazy. I don't believe you. Let's see the tape. A new trend this holiday season, upside-down Christmas oh, trees. Oh, nice. Very nice. That's blasphemy. 
kind of like that. That is, that's, that is that's weird, flat right? out wrong, isn't it? Some of them that go for like thousand bucks. Yeah, I have no or idea. Or an accident why. waiting to happen. <laughs> no idea. You don't want to walk underneath that thing. Look at that. So the real question we answered is: Does Peter Ducey's buzzer work? It and prove well, that it I does. Well, I discovered it does. It's yeah. like I found it under my upside down Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay, so actually we're moving into a potential momentous moment I'm here. still counting Very this nervous. as three to one. Okay, so, so but but the judges, whose opinion is definitive, believe it's I'm two to one. So to if you court. get this right, you have to face the tiebreaker, which is pretty tough. I just Okay, <laughs> my only way to win. Final so, question. I'm going to the Supreme Court with this. Big <laughs> news out of the equity markets today. The Dow hitting a new record. Which record level did the Dow just close for for the first time ever? Shannon Bream. Over 24,000. Over 24,000. <laughs> to the tape we go. <laughs> he says it like that. Like, yeah. 24,000 and market in pencil. Another major milestone falls. 24,000 right now, a little more than a month after 23,000 fell. This is the fifth time this year we've had a milestone like this broken. You would think I would be happy to hear that it reached 24,000, but in this case. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was I'm waiting to see else. if over 24,000 qualifies, and it does. Oh, yes! Shannon Green, that really was. I mean, you just. I felt like I had to go for the kill tonight because I know how good he is. You just no. marched through Deucey Land, which surrendered to you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're I did not surrender! He did not. He, he went down swinging, okay, for the well, record. We're out. You've won so many mugs that tonight we're going to give you something different. We're going to give you... Wait, she's getting mugs to win? She right, has. Right, she's got a whole yeah. set of them. But tonight, we're going to give you a green beverage. Oh, not to be displayed with Not you, to be displayed label. on camera, right. But it's a green beverage in a green well, bottle. and it's in my nose It's when refreshing I and delightful. And that is our gift yeah. to you. Shannon Bream, ladies and gentlemen, the champion Your of Vanna Final White. Exam. It matches, matches my you ears. You're better than anyone else who's gone up against her.